I'm back! Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jay, Thanksgiving style. So today what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a pomegranate glazed roasted turkey. So before we get started, we have this nice turkey. I want to actually give thanks to Small, or sorry, Dream Small Farms for actually donating this as a gift to my lovely wife who owns the local Phil. So it's great to have this. I feel bad to have to sacrifice one of my own brethren, but for my family, I have to do what I have to do. So let's go through the ingredients. So for the pomegranate glaze, we have chicken broth, we have pomegranate juice, we have strawberry jam, and we have honey. In regards to the rub for the turkey, we have salt and pepper, we have a full lemon uh, rind, and we have rosemary chopped up finely, fresh rosemary, and the secret ingredient, olive oil spray. So let's get started. So I've already put everything in, it's already cleaned. Um, I'm not gonna be doing it with stuffing, I'm gonna be doing it without. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put all the dry ingredients together. I'm just gonna mix that up really quickly. And the first thing we're gonna do, and I've already done this prior too, is I've actually removed the skin from the breast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick this up we're gonna take a little bit of this and we're actually gonna shove it in under the skin onto the breast. So when you have it, it's gonna have a nice, beautiful taste. Just like that. The rest, we're just going to put over the turkey. Try to get as much as you can everywhere. We're just gonna rub it around a little bit so it's on there, that's beautiful. And the last thing we want to do is grab our olive oil spray and spray this. And this is going to give it a nice golden brown look. So nice and gentle so we don't kick off all of our spicing. But I always make sure to put enough on. Just like that. Let's make her golden brown. Okay, now that that is ready to go in the oven, I'm going to wash my hands. And then we're going to go to next, the next step. All right, now that my hands are clean, we're gonna put this turkey in the oven. So, the oven is at 325. I'm gonna put it in. Now, depending on the size of your turkey will determine how long you're gonna cook it. So go by the instructions that you do have on your turkey. This one here was 13 and a half pounds, so I'm gonna cook it for approximately three and a half hours. So, while it's in there, we're gonna work on that glaze. So what we're gonna do here is really just put everything together. The chicken broth, Pomegranate juice. Two seconds, let me get a spoon. Strawberry jam. And last but not least, the honey. Now that everything is mixed up, we're gonna turn the heat on and we're gonna bring this to a boil. Okay, once it's to a boil, we're going to condense it down and we're going to reduce it down for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's about half the amount. Once we get there, we're going to take it off the element, let it cool, and then within about two hours of us actually roasting the turkey, we're then going to start basting. All right, so now we just wait. All right, so it's been two hours. So let's look and see how that turkey looks. Woo! Look at that. Nice and golden brown. Now, it's nice and golden brown, but we don't want it to get too brown. So after two hours, we're now going to put some tin foil on it, just loosely, nothing crazy, okay? Just so that we don't get too brown and burn it, okay? So just like that, and we're going to put it right back in. There we go. So now, it should go for another, uh, an hour, another, another hour and a half, okay? Probably within an hour, it's gonna be at about 160 degree internal temperature. At that time, I'm gonna take the tin foil off and that's when we're gonna actually base it with the pomegranate glaze. So if you can see, we've already reduced it down by half, so it's all ready to go. So now we just have to wait another hour and then we can baste it and go from there. All right, so we are about a half hour away from it being completely cooked. It's about 165 degrees internally. 
I know that because I got a new heat thermometer. So what we're going to do is now we remove the tin foil and we are now going to baste. So we take our pomegranate glaze and we're just going to baste it right over top. Just take your time, get all the nooks and crannies, just like that. Looks really good. Keep going. What's great about this reduction of pomegranate juice is that we're not only going to use it as a glaze, but you also use it as a dipping sauce after. So just going to get a little bit more on there because it just looks so good. Perfect. Okay, so we'll put that aside. Now we're going to put it back in, uncovered, for about another 30 minutes or until the internal temperature is about 180 degrees inside the thigh. All right, so once that happens, it's time to eat. It's ready. We check the temp. It's where it's supposed to be, so we take her out. Look at that. That looks fantastic. I'm gonna grab the rest of the glaze, because now what you do, guys, you use the glaze as your dipping sauce. Here we go. We're done. There we go, guys. There's your pomegranate glazed roasted turkey with dipping sauce. I hope you guys are happy to see me back. I hope you guys do this recipe. Recipe. Please make sure to like and share it. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel, JDTV, for all the Cooking with Jay. And of course, all the Bodies by Jay videos are also there too. All right, guys. So happy Thanksgiving and enjoy.